Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the adorable Granny Pop cardigan. I will be making the six to 12 month size and the pattern includes your sizes from zero to three month all the way up to a child size 12. The yarn that I'm working with in today's tutorial is Sunrise from Mary Maxim. It's a premium micro acrylic yarn and it's a lightweight number three, which is a DK weight. And I will be making it in the color Cactus Flower. Okay, I also worked up another one in Mary Maxim Prism, which is a beautiful gradient yarn. It's also a DK weight, so this is a good option as well. And I use the color Seascape for this cardigan. But another alternative that you may like is Mary Maxim mellow spun DK. So that's just another option. But on the blog and in the PDF, I will give you a list of substitutes that you can try out. So for the buttons, you'll also need four buttons that are approximately 18 millimeters in size. If you're working on a larger size cardigan, you may need more buttons. Just refer to the blog and the pattern for the number of buttons you'll need. And we're also going to be working with two hook sizes. So our four millimeter hook, for our bands and the 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for the body of the cardigan. The cardigan is a seamless design worked from the top down. So we'll begin with our yoke. We'll do some increases for these front panels, but we're going to continue to work this back in rows and then we'll join on and do the sleeves in the round, but it is completely seamless so you can work it Really, you can make easy alterations by making the sleeves longer or shorter and same with the body. This video is not intended to teach you how to crochet. Rather, we are working through the steps to create the cardigan. You will need to know your beginner stitches, double crochet, single crochet, chain stitch, and single crochet in the back loop only. I will link below some beginner tutorials if you're new to crochet and review those stitches before trying to complete this pattern. Also be aware you can slow down the video by clicking on the gear icon below this tutorial. That is the settings and you can change the speed of the video. If you click on the description box below this video, you will find links to the pattern and the blog posts, which will give you your yarn substitution list, as well as all of your yarn requirements for each size of the pattern. And the free version of the pattern is on the blog for subscribers, or you can purchase the digital download PDF in one of my pattern shops. So let's begin with a slip knot and put that on our hook. We'll be chaining out a total of 44. Okay, so I've worked across, um, I've worked out a total of 44 chains. So now in the second chain from the hook, we're going to work a single crochet, but I'm gonna turn and you can see that little back bump here. This is what we're going to work into. So those little back bumps. We're working single crochets. Now you could also work foundation single crochets and you want a total of 43. We'll be working across 43 single crochets. This is a little bit more beginner friendly and it's going to give us that nice edge right here. Now, if you're struggling with that, you can always just work through the back loop of the chain. That's okay. Won't be the end of the world. I just find this is a much cleaner way to start out that foundation row. This yarn you'll notice is a little splitty, doesn't have a very tight weave, but it is so soft and beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it's gonna be so soft and cozy for baby Rose. So I'm gonna work across. I'm gonna finish this working across and I'll meet you up at the end. 
Okay, so I've finished working across, so I have 43 stitches. And I just want to mention before we progress, if you need to slow down this video, you can go to the settings, click on the icon that looks like a gear, and you can slow down the video if you need to for any reason. This video does assume you already know how to crochet, even though it is beginner friendly. You do need to know your basic crochet stitches. So let's chain three to get our next row started. And we're going to work, so I've turned, you can turn and chain three or chain three and turn. It's fine either way. We're going to work three double crochets into that first stitch. Okay, we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work a V stitch in our next stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch, work a double crochet in the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, a double crochet in the next three. So we're working this cardigan from the top down and we're separating out our front sleeve and back right now. So this side of our V is our front. We are now working on a sleeve. I'm going to chain one, skip a stitch and work another V, which is separating now the sleeve and the back. So we'll double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same stitch. And now we need to work across. So we worked across nine, four, eight, nine stitches. And now we need to work across six or 17 and the chain ones are included in that. So chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next three. So this is the pattern. chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next three. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next three. Okay, one more time. So that's 16. Chain one will be 17 and a V, skip a stitch, a V in the next. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. And now we're going across nine. So chain one, skip a stitch. This is our next sleeve. So one, two, three, chain one, skip a stitch. One, two, three, chain one, skip a stitch, a V. Double, chain one, double, chain one, and in the last stitch, we're going to work four double crochets. One, two, three, four. So now we're established. So everything after this now is going to be much easier. So our Front sleeve, back sleeve, front is all separated now into sections separated by our V stitches. Okay, so now we'll chain three, turn, and in between these double crochets, we're going to work three doubles. One, two, three. Chain one, and in our next chain one space, we're going to work three doubles. Okay, 
chain one, and then in our V, we're going to work another V stitch. So double, chain one, double, We'll chain one, and in every chain one space, we're going to be working three doubles. One, two, three, separated by chain ones. chain one and I've come to another V so we'll work another V stitch double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and then in all of our chain one spaces Okay, so continue working this across. Okay, and when you get to your next V, make sure you do another V stitch. I'm gonna work across and then meet you back up at the end. Okay, I'm coming up to the end. I'm going to chain one. I've got my V stitch here and in the chain one space, we're going to work three doubles. One, two, three, chain one, and in that turning chain, we're going to work four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to chain four. turn. I don't want to increase this time so that's why I've chained four. We're not going to work in between those doubles like we did the last time which increased us from one cluster to two clusters. So because I'm not doing an increase here we're only going to work across two clusters again. If I increase every row we're going to increase too quickly on our front panel. So we're going to have an increase pattern it won't be that will be every third rather than or if the increase will be every it will be two and then we'll do one that won't be increasing okay so now we're going to skip over to our chain one space working three doubles chain one in the next chain one space three doubles chain one and now in the V double chain one double so I'm going to work all the way across continuing in my pattern okay so this shape is taking form you can kind of see how this is going to come around as our neckline I've worked three doubles we're going to chain one and in the turning chain we're going to just work a double crochet Okay, so we have an increase. We still have two clusters for this row. Now we're going to chain three, turn, and in our chain one space, we're going to work three doubles. One, two, three, chain one. Whoopsie. In the chain one space, three doubles. Chain one, the chain one space, three doubles. One, two, three, chain one, and a V. Chain one. Okay, so we had one, we have two, we have two, one, two, three now. And the next row, we're gonna go up to four. So we'll do another increase the next row. So we'll have two rows of increase and then one not increasing. OK, 
Okay, so that repeat pattern will just keep repeating. So I will continue working across in our pattern a V in every V. Chain one. Okay, so I'm almost to the end. So I have already chained one and now in that turning chain, we're going to work four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we wanna do another increase. So to increase, we're gonna chain three. Okay, and then between our doubles, we're gonna work three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, and continue across. One, one, and in our V, we'll do a V stitch. Okay, so now we have four clusters before our V. And you can see we're getting our nice V going down. Okay, a nice V neck cardigan. Okay, so we're coming up to the end. I have worked my three doubles. I'm going to chain one and in between the turning chain here and the third double, we're going to work four double crochets. Okay, so these guys have increased. I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And now we'll do no increases on this one. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is just a repeat now of row three. We'll skip over that cluster and in the first chain one space, we'll work three doubles. Chain one. So now this one, we just have four as well. Chain one and continue working all the way across. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I'm going to chain one and I'm not increasing. So I'm just gonna work a double crochet in the turning chain. Now I'm going to chain three and work three doubles in the chain one space. Chain one. Chain one. Chain one and our last cluster here for, for the front panel. 
Okay, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five. Chain one. And I'm gonna continue working across. Here's my V, chain one. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now with this round, we'll have 10. So five and five plus the 10 of the back, we've got our fronts equaled up with our back. Okay, so I'm coming to the end and we'll work four double crochet in the turning chain. Okay, and we've reached the number of rows needed for this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're going to chain four. Three doubles. And we're gonna work this over to the V stitch. Chain one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, which is what we wanna stay at now. We're going to chain one and we're going to skip across our entire sleeve section. Okay, so we're gonna skip across the V. I'm gonna go right to the next V. And right in that next chain one space after the V, we're going to do our three doubles. Chain one. Okay, and let's just work this across to the next V. Okay, so I have 11 clusters across the back. We're gonna chain one, skip over again, the V, skipping all the way. Here's our next V. And in the next chain one space, we'll work our three doubles. Okay, and just work that across. I'll meet you up at the end. Should have five clusters across the front. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I've chained one and then we'll work double crochet in the turning chain. We'll chain three. And three doubles. Chain one. We're gonna work this across. And when you get here, you'll just work your three doubles in that chain one space. So just continue across, all the way across now, like you're working um, a complete row. Okay, and in the, that turning chain at the end, we're going to add four And we now have a total of 22 clusters, which we're gonna be working back and forth. So if we fold it all in, it's beginning to look like a little cardigan. So now we're gonna be working the fronts and the back all together. We'll join on afterwards to do our sleeves. So we're going to chain four back to our right side, skip over the first cluster, and in the first chain one space, we'll work three doubles. 
chain one, three doubles. Okay, work that all the way across. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I've already chained one and we'll work a double crochet in that turning chain. Chain three, turn, and we'll be starting with our three doubles in that chain one space. So we're just going to be repeating these rows now. until you get the cardigan as long as you want it. Okay, so just working back and forth in rows. And I will pop up directions for you on how many to do in the repeat. Okay, so I've worked a total of 10 rows for my body. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Work the number of rows needed for the size you're working on, and you can easily modify this. So if you wanted it longer, just go ahead and work as many rows as you'd like. Now I'm going to chain one, and really you can make either side your right or wrong side, and depending on what size you're working on, it can vary depending on where you stop. But I'm going to go with this edge here as my right side. So I'm going to turn back so that it's on the right side. But really, it's going to look fine either way. So don't worry too much about that. So now what I'm going to do is work a single crochet in that center double. Or in the next double, sorry, the next double, one two, three, in the chain one space, in the next three doubles, the chain one space, and I'm going to work across in this manner. Okay, so single crochets all the way across. Okay, so I'm at 87 stitches working in the last double crochet and I'm going to put my final stitch in the turning chain and that will be 88. Now I'm going to change over to my smaller hook. So the four millimeter and we're going to do a join as you go band. For this size, we're going to chain six. Now we'll work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. Two, three, four, five. We'll skip our first single crochet and we'll slip stitch into the next two. Okay, so this is the first row of the band and that first stitch is accounted for it. So we wanna have uh, 88 rows for the band to match up with our stitch count. So I've slip stitched into two and now I'll work two more rows. So we're going to turn and we're working into the back loops only now. So one, two, three, four, five. So single crochet in the back loop only. One, two, three. Four, five, chain one and turn, and then back down single crochets in the back loop. 
So two, three, four, five. So now three rows for three stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the next two and then we'll crochet two more rows. Turn and we're just going to keep repeating this along the entire length of the cardigan. So depending on the size you're working on, you're going to have varying numbers of rows and stitches, but they're all worked the same way. So just continue single crochets in the back loop only, crocheting these rows and slip stitching to the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to work that across. You should end with a final slip stitch and end up at the end, up at the top here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to join on and work your sleeve. So I've already crocheted up one. You can see here with the little cuff at the end. So what you wanna do is take your sleeve and we're going to join on, I'm going to be using my 4.5 millimeter hook for this, the larger hook, and I'm going to join by putting a slip knot on my hook. So get that on. And then we wanna find our V stitch over here to the right. So there's our V stitch. We're going to slip stitch into it. Now I'm gonna actually leave this tail a little bit longer. We're gonna use that tail to seam any hole that is left under the arm. So I'm gonna make that a little bit longer. So find the V, slip stitch into the V. I'm gonna come across to our next V stitch. Okay, so this is gonna help make that sleeve a little bit smaller as well. So we have that cinched in, we're gonna have this tail to sew this hole at the end. You can just leave that tail there and come back to that at the end. Now I wanna slip stitch over to my first chain one space and get into position. We're going to chain three and I'm going to work two double crochets. So I've made my first cluster, chain one, and in the next chain one space, chain one, And we're working around, working our three DCs in every chain one space separated by a chain one. So I'm gonna work all the way around and then I'll meet you back up. Okay, so as we work around, here is our last chain one space. chain one and we'll slip stitch into that starting chain three to join. I'm going to chain three and turn. We'll be turning our rounds for the sleeves and now we'll work two double crochet plus our chain three is our first cluster, chain one and we're continuing around the sleeve in this manner. So we're turning every round, repeating round two, I'm not doing any decreases on the sleeve, so we're just working around. So let's count the clusters just so you're on track, one, two, Let's see, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me submit. Let me make sure I'm counting these right again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I believe. I just double checked there. It is nine for this size. So we'll continue just working around and I have a total of nine rounds for this size we're working on. But again, this is so easy to alter. If you need to alter the length, you can make as many rounds as you would like. So I will continue working those rounds now off camera and then I'll meet you up when I have the nine rounds so that I'll show you how to do the cuff. Okay, so I have worked my nine rounds and I'm going to slip stitch. And because I'm on the right side, we won't turn. We're just going to continue working around. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet into the double crochet right here. So that would be the center of the three. And then I'm going to single crochet in the chain one space. In the center of the next three doubles, we'll do a single crochet. So we're basically single crocheting every other stitch, single crochet into the chain one space. And this is going to cinch it in. As you can see with me wearing this cuff, it's gonna pull it in nicely where this is all baggy out here and then the cuff will be nice and tight. So work that all the way around. Okay, so I have a total of 18 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join, and then I'll change over again to the smaller hook. If you use the same hook, it really is okay. Your band will just be a little bit looser. So I'm going to chain out a total of six. We'll single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this has worked just like we did the other band. Okay, so I won't spend as much time going over the details this time. It's five stitches as well. We're going to skip our first single crochet and slip stitch into the next two. So this time we have 18 stitches, so we're only gonna to need to do 18 rows, but it's worked the same. Working single crochets in the back loop only. One, okay, and then I'm just going to work this around now off camera, and then I'll meet you back up just to show you how to slip stitch the band together when we get all the way around. This yarn can be a little splitty, so just be careful. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue with that. Okay, so I'm coming around. You should be ending with just one slip stitch and working back up. One, two, three, Four, five, I'm going to chain one. Now what you wanna do is put right sides facing and I just like to fold it in like this. Now you could fasten off, just sew this together. It is a little tight trying to work this with the hook, but I'm just gonna slip stitch it. So I'm gonna to go to this side and I'm gonna work through this stitch and I'm just gonna slip stitch it. But again, you could do this with a needle 
and just sew it as well. This way we just don't have to fasten off. So there's two. Okay, and then you can fasten off and weave in that tail. Okay, but this is how your little sleeve and your cuff is going to look. Okay, so once you've completed that, we're gonna fasten off. And I'm going to join back over on to the right side. So we're now going to single crochet around. So put a slip knot on our hook. We're going to join. Okay, and we're, we'll single crochet. So one, two, three, four. And I'm using the smaller hook for this. And a single crochet here. And now we're getting to the double crochet rows. We're going to do two single crochet stitches per row. Okay, so we're just placing two to every double crochet row and that will make our stitches go up pretty evenly so I'm going to do that all the way around okay when we get up to the neckline you'll just be placing your single crochets in the stitches going to crochet over this tail as I go and then once you get back to the rows you're going to work two per, per every row on the other side so once you finish this I'll meet you up again to show you how to do the collar and we're also going to add some buttonholes Okay, so next what you want to do is mark out your buttonholes. So depending on the size you're, gonna, you're working on, you're going to want to space these out really however you want and as many buttons as you want. So I don't want this to go up too high. So I spaced mine out. I went into the second stitch down at the bottom and then I marked the ninth stitch, so I have eight stitches in between my mark stitches. But you could alter this just so you can really put as many buttons as you want. So I'm just going with four for the size. If you wanted five, I would just place out roughly where you want your buttons and then just do even numbers of stitches in between. It really doesn't matter exactly the stitches in between or how many buttons. You just want to evenly sort of place them up the side and you could do this without buttons as well so these buttons I'm using are about 18 millimeters and I'm gonna pick this color I think for this one here's the cardigan I've already made so I have the four buttons the button holes on the other side and I chose the lighter colored for this sweater. So now I'm gonna remove this one. I know that it is going to be the second row that I need to do my buttonhole. 
So we're gonna work the join as you go ribbing as normal. The only difference is, is that we're gonna need to do a, a chain one or a chain two space for the buttonhole on these rows that we've marked. Okay, so in the pattern, I'll give you instructions on how to make a buttonhole and then you can just make those buttonholes as you come to the rows that they're needed. So we're gonna chain out six. And I'm going to work in the second chain from the hook, single crochet, so we have a total of five. Okay, I'm gonna skip that first single crochet. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next two. So now the second row is where I'm going to need a buttonhole, which is this row. So I'm going to single crochet in the back loop the next two stitches and I'm going to chain two but I'm only going to skip one stitch and then I'll single crochet in the back loop of the next two. I just like to chain two so I don't miss it. I just want it to be substantial enough that I'm not going to miss that hole. So then I'm going to chain one and turn you're going to single crochet in the next two. And then in that chain two space, we're just gonna do one single crochet. So one, and then single crochet in the back loop of the next two. Okay, so that buttonhole is made. We'll slip stitch into the next two stitches. You're going to continue working your join as you go band, just like I've shown you already, or the collar, the same as the band and the cuffs. So we're just following that same pattern. And then I will work up to the next marker and it may end up being on a row going up or a row coming down. It doesn't really matter. You're just gonna work it the same way. So I'm gonna continue working up until I get to that next marker and I'll meet you up for that one as well. Okay, so I'm coming up to the marker. I'm gonna be slip stitching into the next two and it's the second stitch. You may wanna close the, I haven't closed mine up just so it's easy, but just so you don't lose them, you may wanna close those. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the next two this time I'm going to work up my five and on the way down we'll add that buttonhole. Chain one. So we're going to single crochet in the back loop of the next two. I'm going to chain two, skip one stitch, single crochet in the back loop of the next two, then I'll slip stitch. So we're going in the back loop of the next two and then we're single crocheting in the chain two and single crochet in the back loop of the next two. So we have the next buttonhole made. So these are just small holes. If you need a bit bigger hole, you can always test out to see how your button is gonna go through. You don't want it too loose or it will come unbuttoned. But if you are using a larger button, just make it two stitches instead of one stitch and that would make it a little bit larger. So I'm gonna continue now adding my buttonholes as I go and just continue working this all the way around, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so once you have your band completed, you're just going to sew your buttons opposite your buttonholes and you can easily button up the cardigan. 
So I just sewed the buttons and I knotted them and trimmed the ends. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.